An estimated 20 million Americans have some form of thyroid disease, and 100% disclosure, I'm one of them. And up to 60% of those people are unaware of their condition. And more than 12% of us will potentially develop. Wow. So today, we're talking about hypothyroidism. Having a stable thyroid is really critical to help keep the body running normally, and the medicine used to treat this condition also needs to be stable. And joining us virtually is Dr. Erwin Klein, professor of medicine at New York University, and patient Kim Gibson. Thank you both for joining us today on The Balancing Act. Do appreciate your time. Thank you for having me this morning. Thank you, good morning. Good morning. Well, doctor, can you give us an overview of what hypothyroidism is? Hypothyroidism, as the name implies, is an underactive thyroid. It's a very common condition. It affects women much more than men. And in fact, it's more common in families due to an underlying genetic basis. The symptoms are quite common in the sense of unexplained weight gain, fatigue, depression, elevated cholesterol, can all be part of a symptom complex, which is often unrecognized, and therefore, even the most simple tests to make the diagnosis are not performed, leading to diagnosis and proper treatment. So doctor, how do you treat hypothyroidism? Isn't it with a hormone replacement treatment called levothyroxine? Well, it turns out that the thyroid gland uniquely makes levothyroxine, or T4, and in order to restore the body's balance, normal metabolism, we have the ability to replace that with a pill containing the precise amount of levothyroxine that's individually determined and precisely diagnosed for that individual patient. And doctor, how important is uniformity here? Levothyroxine is one of the seven FDA designated narrow therapeutic index drugs, which means it's very important that we determine the exact amount that that patient needs and provide it to them on a daily basis. When moisture, humidity gets trapped inside that traditional pill bottle each time someone opens and closes it to take out a tablet, are we damaging the pill's efficacy like uh, in terms of affecting the treatment outcome? Is that a factor? Moisture and heat can affect the potency of levothyroxine. We told the patients, get up each morning, brush your teeth, take a pill. They had to open and close the bottle. There was moisture involved. So in fact, by the end of that 90-day prescription, the pill may have had much less than the designated potency. Kim, you are not Dr. Klein's patient, but you do suffer from hypothyroidism. Can you share your story with us if possible? Sure. My husband and I were married in 2008. And shortly after that, we decided to start a family. But after two and a half years of no success, we were referred to a fertility doctor. There, she had my husband and I go through testing, more so myself than for him. And afterwards, she said that she did not see any reasons why we could not get pregnant. So she told us to take some time, consider what our next options would be. So we did. About a couple of months or so, I scheduled a physical with my primary doctor, and I actually met with the nurse practitioner. And I remember telling her that my husband and I were having issues getting pregnant. So she sent me off for lab work. I was relieved to hear that for the most part, I was healthy, it's just I had an underactive thyroid. And she said that that could be one reason why we could not get pregnant. So I researched some local endocrinologists in my area, and there she prescribed levithyroxine for me. And later that year, my husband and I found that we were pregnant with our first son. So I've been on levithyroxine now for nine years, and I have two wonderful sons. Oh, congratulations. That is so beautiful. Look, here I have one of the blister packs right here. It's a single serve. So Kim, is this is what you use? That is what I use now. I was uh, introduced to Prevel Pharmaceuticals in 2017. Euthrox has no gluten, no dyes, no lactose, and they are the only levithyroxine tablets offered in blister packs in the United States. So the bottom line is a blister pack is better than the bottle, and a small change in medication adherence can have a big impact on the treatment success, right? Yes, very much so. The blister provides them with the ability to comply with that daily dosing and keep the medicine safe and stable. 
Kim, thank you so much for sharing your story. And doctor, thank you for all the valuable information. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me this morning. And for more information, you can go to provelpharma.com slash youthrocks-us or just go to our website, thebalancingact.com.